so my name is Harpal Singh Appal and I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon and I specialise in shoulder and elbow problems. Shoulder replacement surgery is a good option for patients with arthritis of the shoulder which can occur with or without tears of the rotator cuff. The shoulder joint is a ball and socket type of joint where there are a set of important muscles called the rotator cuff which coordinate all the movements of your shoulder. There are two types of shoulder replacement commonly used today something called an anatomic replacement, which changes the ball and socket for metal and plastic parts, and a reverse shoulder replacement, which switches the position of the ball with the socket to give your shoulder more strength to move your arm if your rotator cuff isn't working properly. From the patient's point of view, having severe pain, difficulty sleeping, or pain at rest are all potential signs that you may have arthritis that we can help treat you with. First, x-rays are taken in the outpatient's clinic to confirm the diagnosis of arthritis. The next step involves performing MRI and CT scans of the shoulder. The MRI scan will tell me about your rotator cuff in particular and is helpful in deciding if an anatomic or reverse shoulder replacement is required. I use the CT scan to create a three-dimensional model of your shoulder on a computer and then plan the entire operation in the computer using the most modern and up-to-date systems available. These systems create a patient-specific guide, which is then 3D printed out of metal. This is an example of a 3D print of a shoulder socket, and this is an example of a 3D printed patient-specific guide. As you can see, the guide fits on perfectly to the contours of the socket during surgery and allows me to perform the replacement with the highest degree of accuracy possible. I'm one of the few surgeons in the UK with extensive experience in this technique and have developed a routine practice of offering this to all of my patients. The surgery itself involves a general anaesthetic with a nerve block, which gives patients a pain-free shoulder immediately after surgery. The normal stay is one to two days in hospital. A small incision is used to gain access to the shoulder and the worn out damaged surfaces of the humerus and sockets are removed. Once the socket is prepared using the 3D printed guide, the implant is secured, either with cement or a combination of screws. Attention is then turned to the arm bone, where an implant is inserted into the hole that runs down the middle of the bone. This implant has a special coating which encourages bone to grow into the surface of the implant to make sure that it is secure. Once surgery is over, a sling is applied, which needs to be kept on for six weeks following surgery. The main aim of the sling is to protect the healing tissues of the shoulder and to reduce the risk of dislocation. This is when the ball comes out of the socket. This is a very rare problem if patients follow the physiotherapy instructions following surgery. The surgery itself works very quickly to remove the pain from the arthritis. The pain created by the surgery resolves over the course of around six weeks or so, and by that time point, the overwhelming majority of patients have excellent pain relief. Range of motion is difficult to predict following surgery, but the majority of patients are able to lift their arm to head height and do normal day-to-day -day activities by the three-month point. Patients having an anatomic replacement tend to get their recovery a little bit quicker than patients having a reverse shoulder replacement. The scientific literature tells us that around 85-90% to 90 of shoulder replacements are still working well 10 years down the line following implantation. A small group of patients may unfortunately end up needing revision surgery, which is something that I'm well trained to perform if it's required. I'm happy to see patients without a GP referral letter here at One Hatfield Hospital. Mm -hmm.